Hey guys, alright? It's Brett from Iron Body Martial Arts here. How's it going? In case you don't know, I run a channel here on YouTube that focuses mainly on old style traditional martial arts and conditioning training, um, endurance and toughness training and stuff like that. Um, been around for quite a while on YouTube. So we like, um, we're going to do shin training today, yeah? So as with all Iron Body skills or whatever you want to call it, conditioning training, uh, there isn't one way to do it, yeah? There's lots of different ways that you use, okay, if you want the best results. So thank you guys for the thumbs up. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you one of the, the more evil methods, but not the most evil, but actually it looks more evil than it is, um, but it's pretty evil, but it's, okay. So constant pressure, is a very good way, in fact, one of the best ways to condition the bones of the shin. So we're gonna be doing that basically by being me here sitting talking to you, and we're gonna be using this evil rolling lock, yeah, which is a standard post. Um, I actually found this post, uh, which was fallen over in the park up by my way, and I thought, well, rather than someone putting it through my window, I'm gonna use it to condition my legs. I've been after a post like this for ages. So let's start on the shins. Uh, and let's just start doing some conditioning with this post. Um, now, it's a bit strange. I know maybe you're at home with your wife or missus or family and you've got like a big piece of wood just sitting on your legs. But um, yeah, that's pretty much what this is. So uh, let's, let's get this training going. As usual, guys, thanks for the Patreon guys that support the channel. Uh, do like and subscribe and share it and stuff. And uh, yeah, let's just keep the training going. Um, and anyway, I'll talk to you because we've got talking that we can do whilst we're setting this up. All right, so let's see if we've got good camera here. Oh yeah, excellent. So uh, you'll have to forgive my head being chopped out of this. Maybe there's a way for it not to be. Oh yeah, maybe like that. All right, excellent. Okay, so first off, this is, um, you don't have to use like Dip to Joe for this. Uh, Dip to Joe is like a Chinese medicine that heals the, heals the body, but it's, this is pretty much just raw on the bone, so we need all the help we can get. You can use deep heat, you can use some kind of heating rub. Um, I usually, as you'll see on my link, I usually use Plum Dragon Herb stuff um, that, that, I, that I use. I've used it for, I've endorsed it for a long time, but um, because of COVID and stuff, I've got this, which is called Red Chi. It's from a guy in, in Australia here. Um, and as it would happen, he actually follows the channel. Um, and as it would happen, he's actually even um, bought my, or had a look, a long time martial artist, but he's, he's bought my Iron Body Martial Arts Iron Hand course. Um, and he told me he liked it and stuff. So it was just one of these happy coincidences where we, you know, we, I bought some stuff off him. Neither of us knew who the other one was. And then I said, oh, well, tell you what, mate, I'll, as I do with everyone, I'll have a go at your stuff. Um, and then, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, if it's, you know, if it's good, I'm sure it will be, you know, I'll make sure I mention it on my channel, I'd like to help fellow martial artists out, especially in the COVID. So anyway, mate, there we go, Red Chi. So far it's been working very nicely, so give them a look up online. And of course also Americans, have a look at Plum Dragon Herbs or anywhere else in the world. So we're gonna put a bit of this Dit to Joe on. Yeah, like I said, you don't have to use Dit to Joe, but it, it, you know, like put it this way, it's been a refined recipe through, through literally nearly like probably a thousand years of, of Chinese culture. So yeah, maybe, it, maybe it's a good one to use. Um, and what does it do? Well, it's got some, I think it's got some, so it's got some sort of plant steroids in it. If you look at some of the ingredients, some things that act as to help healing, circulation and stuff like that. It's got lots of ingredients in, depending on what one you get, because this is gonna be pretty heavy on the shins. All right, so put a bit on your thumbs. Don't put it in wounds. And sorry, this slows down the training, but, but yeah. Okay, also um, I recommend um, that you go, you know, you go for your run, you warm up, you do your training. Um, that's the best way to get the body and the blood and everything circulating. Yeah. So anyway, there we go. So we've got, we've got the stuff on our shins. Bit of dip to Joe. It's going to help the circulation. All right. So I'll put our red sheet down. 
Yeah, I quite, I've, I've, I've done a lot of training over the years without Dick to Joe. I haven't been able to get it. So, you know, if you don't get it, don't let it put you off your training. Okay, let's get the log now. Okay, so my log is pretty like rough and because it's split. So it's actually got nasty sharp edges and stuff. So I'll get the log. Let's get the log going. Yeah. And now also we don't want to cheat. Um, so we, we, we don't want to turn the shins out. Yeah, because we could, we could roll the log on the outside of our shins all day. Yeah, so we want to use the points of the shins. Yeah, depending on the structure of your legs, this might be, this might be more or less evil. Um, that's up to you to, to decide. Um, and then, okay, so we're going to place the log on the top of the shin. Yeah, like here. Oh, it feels good. You're going to place the log here on the very top of the shin, um, and you're just going to let it rest. You know, especially when you first start off, if you just introduce yourself to this method, you know, place the log on the blade of the shin, um, and you're going to rest it there. Obviously, if you don't have a log, well, I don't know, this whole video is about getting a log, but there's also other uh, shin methods we'll show, but this method today is the evil log method, all right? Concrete log, wooden log, whatever kind of log you want to use, it's the log, all right? So place it on the first area of your shins, just let it rest there and breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, in through the nose, out through the nose and sort of relax through the pain. You might have different levels of pain. Roll the log a bit forward, yeah? Just a few centimeters and just let it rest there, yeah? Um, roll the log a little bit more, yeah? And again, whilst we're doing this video, if you guys want to chuck questions up or whatever, I know a lot of you might be catching it later on, um, maybe not live. Um, that's all right, you know, whatever. Um, and unfortunately, um, although a lot of conditioning training is a little bit more vigorous than this, something like this may be actually, behind the scenes, your like bread and butter of conditioning because it's pressure over time. So you've got to spend the time. Yeah, so you sit there, you know, you can, I don't know, you can play a computer game, you can do whatever the hell you want when you're doing this. Um, like once you get more used to it, obviously here we're, we're pressing against it. So first stage is we're going we're gonna to work the, and we're doing this in real time, um, but we're going to work the, the down the shin. Oh, the, so I've got, to, I've got to a sore point on my shin. Uh, thanks a lot, I've got a comment there. Um, I'll do like one wave and then I'll have a look at the comments. Uh, thanks for the thumbs up guys once again thanks for liking and subscribing thanks for supporting the channel and the patreon guys and the guys who've bought the iron body martial arts iron hand course um you know it's great to see people enjoying that and lots of martial artists enjoying it people coming on that thing years of experience in kung fu and saying you know we had a good course so that's good okay so press it a little bit more i mean if your log's a bit smoother than mine like i said mine's got splits in it um you might hear popping sounds like crunching sounds as you roll down the shins, but that's all right. Yeah, so this is the first wave, yeah, yeah, or you just started, you've just started this method. So roll it down, yeah, so the idea is we're rolling it a little bit, we're keeping it on the shin, we're rolling it a bit more. So for the first wave, we're keeping the blades of the shin up, because any movement you do to make it nicer and easier and less painful on yourself is actually lessening the conditioning because you want those blades of the shin, you know, that thing that you're going to catch someone with, that's the bit that's going to hurt, that's the bit you want to toughen up, not the bit that's already tough, yeah, okay, so what, what we've done for the guys who've joined is we just started at the top of the leg, we put some Dit De Joe, some heat rub on, we started at the top of the leg and we're just moving the log very slowly in little turns, in little turns, pressure over time, to condition this in. This is as the first, this is starting off, yeah? Okay, now we've gotten to the bottom of the shin. The, the, so this is the bit like Conor McGregor style that might hit the person as well. I mean, you ideally actually want to hit with the upper part of your shin because it's tougher um, and the leverage ain't going to break it. But most of the time people kick whatever, they, they kick a lot with the bottom part of the shin or it's a weaker point. So it's it, toughening it is good. Yeah, so again, breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, you'll feel pain, just, just control it. I mean, you might have seen the video with like Barber Fitness, um, when he goes training, and there's, you know, they put the roll on, it's 
uh, leg and it's very painful. Um, a lot of people think you have to just roll, 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 but you, you can do that, we are gonna do that, but you can start off certainly like this. So I'm showing you how, um, I'm sure you've figured it out yourself, but I'm showing you how you can pretty much just start off, um, you know, having never used it and maybe put up with it, but I don't know, maybe I'm a bit biased because my shins are like a little bit tough, not super tough, all right? So now you, you sit there, you do something, you do whatever, you can freaking play a video game, you can read a book, you can whatever, but you've, you've worked this log slowly down your shin, it's now resting on the very bottom bit of your shin, yeah? And it's just pressing there, yeah? And I mean, even from here, you can do uh, your, your, I mean, sometimes I, I use this log, I'll do it here. You can even do some nice sit-ups, yeah? You can do your sit-ups, yeah? But just be careful not to, you just want to keep that leg relaxed, you don't want to engage the muscles yet of the leg. But it's, it's, going, to, it's going to be painful, I'm not lying to you. Um, but that's part, of the, that's part of the log, yeah? Press, 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 yeah? Now, now we're going to work the log back up the leg, yeah? We're going to work the log back up the leg, I hope some people can see here. And we're going to work it back up the leg again slowly. And again, boring, but we're doing this in real time, so. So apologies, you know, it's not a five minute quick video. Um, the idea is you want the pressure there constantly. And you might see as well that I'm like actually also resting my hands on this. Yeah, so, so you know, once you get a bit more into it, you can strike into that area, which is already painful enough. Um, yeah, so we've done one slow roll down, we're doing one slow roll up. I mean, if you don't, no one even needs an instructional video on this, really, which uh, I don't suppose this isn't or is, but um, this is just live stream training, that's all it is, to show you like the mundane reality of the training, yeah, or whatever, you know. So you, you guys do what the hell you want, do your, you know, do this and do some sit-ups with it, um, you know, sit here, freaking play your computer game, but just know that when you let your computer game, that's going to happen. And that might, for you, that might be like too much. Like I know when you first do the, like a heavy log or something on your leg, um, you know, you, you, you might not be able to even have it there for a second. Again, remember it's blades of the shins up. Yeah, you're not, you're not pressing those blades of the shin out. Well, well you do do that, but that's, that's, a di that's a different area, yeah? Yeah, so that's a little bit, that's a little bit friendlier. It depends on the structure of your shins. My shins are sharp at the front. Um, sharp at the front and uh, you know and, and flat around the sides but yeah people have different leg types so yeah so okay now we're back at the top of the shin the strongest part of the shin yeah um, and here we rest it again yeah so it's no no surprises no magic just about pressing that log on the shin and this is stage one um, my like I said my log has like big splits in it and stuff so they make it even more evil because those splits, like, they, they stick out, they're sharp, and they get you. Yeah, they get you. So anyway, so so now, yeah, so, okay, once once you've gotten the idea of, well, really, actually, just put the pressure on them. Just put the log on different parts of your leg, work it up, work it down slowly, um, sit there for some time whilst you're doing something else. I don't know, you can meditate and do meditative breathing. Um, you can freaking, you can tap and put weights on the log to make it more. But the, the main stay of stage one is slowly work the log up and down the leg. Not really tensing the muscles, just letting it get the bone. And it should, it should pretty much be painful in every twist of the log, yeah? Because there's no muscle there to defend you, it's just pure bone, yeah? And um, that's just part of the conditioning, unfortunately. Yep. And you just gotta learn to love the pain, yep. So let's just quietly love the pain. Okay, slowly working it up. Yep. 
I'll tell you what, the stupid stuff that you see on YouTube, it's, it's unbelievable. I can't see. Oh, yeah. I think, I can't see on the number how many people are watching, but I think it's zero, but that's all right. Um, like I said, I, I mainly do these for, for people to catch later anyway. So, yeah, for anyone joining in, the counter's not always right, but we slowly worked the wooden pylon down the leg, like that, down the shin, just like a few degrees, new bit of the bone, hold it there, a few more degrees, new bit of the bone, hold it there, a few more degrees. This is starting wave one. Um, if you're getting a bit brave, you can place your hands on there to put some weight, have a little hit or hit in the middle. And a few more degrees, that's a pretty painful area for me. Breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Yeah, let it work down. Blades of the shins up, not turned. Yeah, and just, this is something you can do whilst you're watching TV, if you're in your training room, reading, whatever. Um, just, yeah, move a few more. Yeah, a few more. There we go, it's gotten to the bottom. I mean, this will really help you guys, like if you, it's time, it's the time of the pressure there, you know, so much. There's the, obviously we'll go into the other method where you just roll it, uh, um, what's the word, self-explanatory, but the time of the pressure on the bone is what adapts the bone as well. Yeah, it's not always just blunt force striking. Um, these softer pressurizing methods are actually a very powerful way to condition um, the shins and bones as well. Yeah. Under, very underutilized, not because they're not as dramatic, yeah? They're not as dramatic, they don't seem as crazy, you know? Like kicking and exciting, but um, they are in their own way uh, an endurance, you know? Like a meditation because it's just constant pain, you know? That you've just gotta endure, you know? And your body just gets used to it and gets tougher. Yeah, so that's the weakest part of the shin that the logs are resting on now. And again, the shins are blade up. And like I said, you do whatever. Um, you can read a book, play a game, whatever. Or you can just sit doing your meditations. You can do uh, sit-ups, which we'll talk about in a bit. Seeing as we're doing this as a live stream training. Um, you know, we're making it as real as possible. And also acknowledging the stupid shit that you see on YouTube. Like... Why should you turn to YouTube and see some shirtless, moustached, weird dude with a rock, with a log on his leg? Like, I don't know, what has the world come to in 2022? All right, so, yeah. And then again, like I said, once you get used to the pressure and stuff, you can, you can give the log a little, a little hit. Yeah, just a little reminder that things are bad. Okay, yeah, so now what I am gonna do is I'm gonna twist I'm going to twist the, the, the shins out, and again, I'm going to roll, going to roll up the shin. Yeah, and again, like I said before, this is a, this is a, 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 a flatter part of the shin. This, is, this will be way easier to do than the blades of the shin. And just working that log, just rolling it down the shin. Now, this is deceptive, this method, because try it and you'll see. Um, how painful it actually is, yeah, yeah, okay, excellent, uh, so, yep, all right, so let that go to the bottom, we're going to, we're going to straighten the shins up, now we're going to do some proper rolling, yep, so, up to the top, down, up to the top, oh, ow, I've got my foot, oh, that wasn't nice, got me in the foot, all right, just roll it down, that's painful. Roll it up. <sighs> yep. Roll it down. <sighs> Roll it up. Roll it down. <sighs> yep. Roll it up. And for the the guys who've joined, just just right looking now, what the hell's going on? Um, before we we're doing this rolling with the with the log, yeah. Uh, we've we've slowly sat here and worked the log down the shin with the blades up, yeah, to kind of get the body used to the pressure, yeah, 
Yeah, and that doesn't, you don't have to do the rolling uh, over the same training period, you know. So you can just slowly do the other method, build up. You can even wear trousers um, to like make the, the pressure like more distributed and stuff like that. Or if you're evil like me, you can just just take the just take the beating of the roller. Yep. So up it goes. Down it goes. Oh, up it goes. That keeps getting me in the foot. Down it goes. Up it goes. Down it goes. Yep. Oh, so evil. So also you can go down. And if you're really bored whilst you're doing that. You can introduce a few press ups. Oh, yeah, thank you guys. Thumbs up. Yeah, rolling. And then again, like I said, this is you can make the training more vigorous. So you can kind of roll whilst you're doing your sit ups. Um, I mean, there's some shin conditioning videos out there, but they're really like tame, tame ass, like kick boxing bag ones, which is fine. Yeah, it's fine. But that's why this one's called serious shin conditioning. So, so getting our sit-ups going, rolling that log on the shins, the, remember the blade of the shin. And now obviously we've gone from a slower training where we're just rolling the thing stage one, we've gone stage one, we've gone stage two, now we're on to stage three where we're just rolling it. And you're doing some sit-ups to mainly to get the movement in your body that like yeah, it's horrible. It gets that horrible movements on the shins. Again, nice log. I'm gonna start dropping it soon on the on the shins. It will throw it up and drop it. Let it hit. The I'm joking. We're not gonna do that. <laughs> you guys were waiting to see that. You sadists. You sadists. All right. So yeah, just do, like I said, whatever you want to do, just do your sit ups or sit there. There's the stage one is just pressure. Yeah. For anyone joining in, slow pressure twizzling the log down the leg. So, cause when you first put it on your leg, it's gonna hurt like hell. And stage one is just getting to comfort with that and slowly moving it down the shin, which in its own way is evil. Yeah. And just getting used to it, nice and boring. Yeah. Oh, we got some, some good thumbs up there. And then now we're on to sort of stage, what was it, four or something like that, where we, we're, we, we're just letting the, the log roll down the shins. And now we're even doing uh, sit-ups and trying not to bang our head on the wall. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And again, we're, we, at the moment, we're on the weakest bit of the shin. Um, yeah, just get the log moving again. Ooh, give it a push. Mm, yeah. It's so painful. Yes, we love it. Sip. 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 Oh, so blades of the shin, um, and now now we can turn the shins flat, and you can do a little bit of rolling there. But as you guys can see, the bone is so much well for me. It's so much easier on the side of the shin. Um, yeah, and then you do that on the blade of the shin. So it's, it's a different story. Yep. Also, it toughens your hand. Whoa, that bit's a painful bit. Oh. Oh, we love Kung Fu. Oh, we love Kung Fu. Wow, oh, we love Kung Fu. If you're really multitasking, you could even put your little iron palm bag here, dunk, and you could you can do your other strikes. Could do that. Yeah. <sighs> Evil. Okay, so now I said we we're going to do a couple of ways, and I was going to look at the uh, comments. So we'll have a look. And um, again, what, what, you know, this is just a live stream training, but also there's lots of different methods for conditioning the shin, and lots of different methods is what you should use. This method is a pressure method. So let's have a look at the shin. Where's my light? Guys will be able to see. So, how many minutes have we been going? So we oh shit, we've been going twenty minutes. So oh, I don't know, you might not be able to see. We've been going twenty minutes. 
And you can see, you see her freaking bow legs. Look at that shin. It's like, it's like not even straight. But you can see hopefully the bone of my shin. There's where the bone is, yeah? And that's what I mean. So I haven't been lying to you guys. It's the straight blade. And you can see, unfortunately, my shins are actually bowed because I'm a bow-legged bastard. But yeah, so the blade of the shin, um, just, just like the, hmm, maybe we can have some light here. Just like the twin locks, yeah? Just like the twin locks with the, the, the bone of the forearm. Yeah, just like the twin locks with the bone of the forearm. Yeah, it's the bone that we're training. Yeah, so there we go. So the bone, the bone blade of the shin. So I'll just have a look at some comments. That's another cool thing. Um, there's a 72 secret arts of the Shaolin method called Art of the Lash. Um, and that's a similar method, but you just do it with your arms. Um, but usually you do it like on a pole, upright pole. But the good thing is with one of these, you could, you could also do the art of the lash um, with your forearm bones on the log as well, yeah? So just again, holding them in plank and working, working along the forearm bone. Yeah, actually more difficult than training the shins. And again, but if you use the same principle of, uh, we, do, we did step one, where it's the slow pressure, yeah? Slow pressure, slow pressure, slow pressure. Then after multiple training sessions, or if you feel comfortable, you can work up to the rolling. It's up to you. It depends on your pain threshold. It depends on a lot of things. Um, if you guys have mit missed that bit, um, just watch this video when it comes out again. Uh, don't forget to like and sub though. Um, or just carry on watching and we'll do another repeat. So let's see some of the comments. But yeah, look. So this is the shin bone. You can see my twizzle ass shin bones. Let's see what comments we got. And then we'll carry on again. Uh, Red Chucks. Red Chucks says, is that pressure treat? Well, probably. I don't know, mate. I dug this up from the park. or It was already bust on the park. So... Alexander says, big respect, brother. Breezy says, Brett, have you tried doing the horse stance in between a doorway? Oh, a open doorway wedge. Oh, I'll give it a try. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Breezy says, right, now I'm reading the Ban and Shininki. Well-formed shins. Ravaga says, hey, dude, long time no see. Yeah, well, thanks, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Awesome comments. Good to see old Red Chucks, tough guy. Wouldn't want to mess with Red Chucks. Um, so, okay, so we'll go through it again, guys, but there's, there's the thing. So it's proof I haven't been, you do also train the outside, uh, the inside with the rolling, but the main point you want to get is the blades here. Blades of the shins, yeah? So we'll give them a little rest for a second. And this is a pressure, pressure method. Jeez, um, that light heats up the room. I don't know, I don't know if we need it. Okay, so let's, let's go over the method again. I don't know, do we need the light? I don't know. Maybe we don't. Okay, let's go over the, you guys just tell me if we need the light or not, I don't know. Um, okay, so let's go over the, let's go over the method again. Easy. There's quite a, well, there's not, it's easy. It's, there's nothing complicated about this stages. So I've rubbed my shins, I've given them a break. Oh, there's my log. Yeah, it's as thick as a hand, it, I don't know. Well, it is about, I don't know, a good couple of kilos. So you've never done it before in your life and you're looking at this and you're going, man, this is insane. Yeah, oh, again, like don't, you can do the nice forearm training as well. Twin locks. Yeah, you can do all that at the same time. But you've never done this before. You want to toughen up those shins some extreme way. So we first off, you get your nasty ass log and you place it on your shins. Or it's a giant piece of concrete or whatever it is. So you place it at the top of your shins and you want the blades of your shins to, uh, facing up. Um, and the first thing your body's going to tell you is like, nah, no, I don't want to do this. Um, and you're just going to have to convince it that, yeah, I do want to do it. So gonna put a bit of pressure and just get used to it and be like, or maybe not pressure. 
up to you, depends where you are, you know. Okay, then you're going to gradually move it a few degrees and you're just going to hold it there. You're going to be breathing, you're going to take it down a little bit more. Now you might hear some cracking and popping. Someone says you give a good nub or something. Uh, hold on, let me see what that says. Ah! Actually, we'll shimmy over to the camera with our water log there. What do we got? Yeah, Beast, Beast the Grim Executioner says give it a good rub. Yeah, yeah, always rub. You do rub the shins from time to time, keep the blood circulating. Um, I said at the beginning, I also use some Dip to Joe. You can use deep heat rub or, or tie rub or whatever you want to use. Um, I'll read that comment in a minute. Who's that from? I think it's from Breezy again. So yeah, anyway, a few degrees. My, my poles will split nasty because it's got like sharp bits as well, which makes it more evil. A few degrees, a few degrees, a few degrees. I'll hold it like this to show you guys that I'm not taking weight off of it. A few degrees. You'll, at some point you'll get to a point on your shin that just your body is like that is horrible and that's the place where you want to keep it the most sometimes um, or not move on a few degrees a few degrees keep those don't let those um, shins twist out though keep them twisted in you want that blade a few degrees a few degrees yeah yeah so we've worked it all the way down yeah, slowly. And then you leave it. Leave it there for a bit. Let it let it just muscles relaxed. Rub the top of your shin, muscles relaxed. Yeah, because the muscles come over sometimes to guard the shin. Just relax it down and let the blade of the shin, just let that bone get onto the contact of the wood. Yeah? So that's all you do, phase one. Just slowly hold it and twist it. Phase two, you bring it back. Da 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 da. Yeah, then you decide, uh, well, phase one as well, you leave it there for a bit and like, I don't know, do some, well, no, well, actually it might be too painful to move. So, <laughs> so I forget these small little things, but um, I'm trying to remember like what it's like when I first did, ever did, you know, if I've never done any shin conditioning before, maybe this isn't the place to start, but it's a good method. Um, so the, yeah, just just doing that slowly and leaving it at the bottom that might be enough for you. Like that's fine. Yeah, it's your training. It doesn't matter. You'll be tougher than you were, so it's cool. Yeah, you'll be tougher than you, and that's all you need. In through the nose, out through the nose. In through the nose, out through the nose. Yeah, just 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 let it sit there. Pressure over time. Yeah, just pressure. That's all. Pressure. Yeah. Then once you get used to it, your body realizes, hey, I'm tougher than I think I am. Yeah. Give it a little hit. Maybe give it two hits. Yeah, slowly roll it back up. So I'm gonna do it fast. Yeah, but you do it slow or whatever suits you. Yeah, get it to the top and again, let it sit at the top. Yeah, give it a few hits. Yeah, blah, blah, we like that. Okay, then then, then we work onto a bit of the rolling. So we roll, we roll, we roll. Yeah, and we've been doing this now for 20, is it 20 something minutes or 30 something minutes? So this is the, well, you don't have to do it for this long. You can literally just do like a five, 10 minute stint. Yeah. But hopefully, um, hopefully me doing it for this long is like testament to, again, just not bullshitting you guys, you know, because I hate bullshit and I hate like, you can see when someone shows you a training method and they never do it. Yeah, or they've just learned it yesterday, um, you know, so, yeah, so, just, yeah, or it's a new method to them, but they, they don't have the conditioned area or something like that, which is fine, whatever, but, um, yeah, yeah, leave it there, okay, let's roll a bit more, and then obviously you can roll with pressure, Rah! roll with pressure, Rah! yeah, roll with pressure, Rah! and then, then you can do the old uh, sit-ups. Yeah, sit-ups help take your mind off the horrible pain. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, one day you're gonna tune in and we're gonna be throwing this thing down on our legs. I suppose we might be able to drop it, but. Yeah, yeah. I'm quite happy with little drops. 
yeah, no, those are happy for me. We'll probably do bigger ones. Um, but I'll do that experimenting on my own because I don't want to. I don't want to show you guys something once, like I do a big one, bang, and you guys think, oh wow, you know, um, man, he did it. So, and then when I turn the camera off, I can't walk for like three days, <laughs> you know, and you don't see that. So, which I'm sure has happened, you know. So anyway, okay. So, yeah. what else can I say? Oh yeah, obviously, whilst you're, if you've got the conditioning or you want to train these areas, whilst you're on this. You can also train the other areas of your hand, yeah? And if you just want to be more evil to your own shins. Oh, we hate our fucking shins. Breathe, oh, breathe. Okay, so now I'll take the lock off. We'll turn on our light. And there we go. So, what have we got? There we go. So you can see the line of the shins. So busy says substitute pain for pain. Yeah. So you can see the line of the shins. Oh, don't forget to roll the inside as well. But, but the flat part of your shins are pretty tough. Yeah, it's, this is the bit you want. This is the bit that you're going to catch people with. This is the bit you're going to get kicked in. This is the bit you're going to be checking with. Yeah, even if you've got sort of quite thin legs like me, you can toughen those bones, make them tough. Um, yeah, okay, so after you've done that, I mean, what have we done now? We've done 36 minutes, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Um, we'll have a look. Yeah, yeah, Breezy, um, I, did, I did show before, so um, there's, there's 72 secret arts of the, hello, beast, no, Grim Executioner, yes, no pain, no gain. 72 arts of the Shaolin, there's art of the lash, um, and twin locks as well for training the, the um, forearm bones. So yeah, as well, I, I did mention it before, you can, um, you know, you can start on your knees like this, but you can do the same thing for the bones of your forearm and just slowly roll, 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 you know, the same way, work it up, and then obviously you can roll it to the point where um, you know you're you're on the forearms like so, yeah. And that that's pretty painful. And then you could be rolling and stuff like that. But that's even for me that's that's pretty painful. So um, I could roll. Yeah, I could do some rolling on that. But it's pretty painful. Oh, why not? Let's do some rolling. So yeah, you can roll. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's all right. But also what I'd recommend for you guys is, um, you know, well, for anyone, you can wrap it in a towel or something like that. But also, um, it'd be better, to, honestly, to like more slowly do the pressure. And then when you literally just don't feel it, like we were doing with our legs, and it isn't, it isn't like 60, 70% hard, uh, you know, to do like the rolling, uh, you know, when your body's really comfortable, then, then do it. Yeah. So you don't always have to do, you, we're doing something pretty extreme, but you don't always have to do the extreme to the extreme. You start with the bit, you know, you start it simple and let, give your body time. You know, like even for me, you know, I just demonstrated the rolling on there, which was fine, but I'm like, for me that, even that I'm like, yeah, it looked good, it felt good, but I probably wouldn't want to do that every training session, you know? Um, maybe every couple of training sessions, but the best one for like realistically, like we did on our legs, would be, you know, just whatever's comfortable for you, holding the pressure, you know, holding the pressure, you know, yeah, holding the pressure, holding the pressure, holding the pressure, holding the pressure, and, and what I mean is, your, 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 uh, yeah, you're, you're more like, you benefit more from slowly working that pressure than from doing something that like looks good once or twice or whatever. Anyway, got sand all over my mat from the stupid log. I'll have a look at those comments now. 
we'll put some more we'll put some more dip to joe on for a second so like i said at the beginning i usually use plum dragon herbs but they're from america i've always endorsed their stuff used it for a long time but here in australia because of covid in the post i did reach out to an australian company and they supplied me with some red tree or oh, i bought it but i bought some red chi and some other did to joe's off them so did to joe's always good stuff to use in for this kind of training because it's tough on the body yeah it stinks but yeah it helps you heal so i'll just put that on the thing you don't have to use it you can use deep heat or whatever it is you want to use but yeah, you know, it's a Kung Fu staple, did to Joe, so, you know, use bark in our karate. Because when, you, when you're putting your body under these kind of strains, you need a bit of help sometimes. Just don't drink the stuff, it's poisonous. Don't get it in too many cuts and shit. But yeah, that's not bad for like 30 something minutes or whatever it is we were doing it for. Here we go. I'll put some on my forearms and I'll have a look at some of the comments. Again, look, thanks guys for, you know, liking and subscribing the channel, supporting it over the years. It's nothing crazy, just, just our training that we do. Yeah, put it on the bones. I'll have to, really should leave it on for as long as you can, but I'll have to wash this off when I go to bed because which, I mean, I think it's like 11 o'clock now. I've got work tomorrow. Because my missus complains that it stinks. It's like, it smells like curry. Something. Sweet curry, there's the frankincense and myrrh and stuff in there. All right. So I'll have a look at some of the comments. And then we'll move on to another training method. Yeah, no, it's good smell. I like the smell. Yeah, I like the smell. I like the smell. Okay. Oh, Breezy says, all right, boss, I'm just stopping by. Best wishes to you and your family. Thank you, my friend. I might have missed some of your comments, though. Oh, he says, Breezy says, ingenuity. Breezy says he's trying tiptoe push-ups. Stand up and use your tiptoes to push up. Oh, yeah. Oh, tiptoe push-ups. Oh, yeah, okay. Saying the ingenuity in the exercises. Oh, a new ninja scroll's been found. No, I didn't know about that. Uh, no pain, no gain from Beast Grim Executioner. Pain to, to others. Yeah, more pain to self, more pain to others. Yeah, Be Beast the Grim Executioner says does something similar with a broken broomstick while sitting on the rest day. Yeah, exactly, man. And Beezy says goodbye. Yep. Yeah, exactly, man. It doesn't have to be a log. Ooh. That's why you put the lid on your Dicta Joe. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a log. Um, so, yeah, guys, if you do, um, if you are in Australia or whatever, you know, because of the COVID post gone a bit crazy. But, yeah, hit up, hit up Paul from Red Chi. Like I said, I actually I bought this off the guy. But I told him if I used it and it was good and liked it, um, you know, I would mention it on my channel to help the guy out. Um, but also on the link below, there's stuff for Plum Dragon Herbs if you want to go on their site. I think there's a discount code or something like that there. Um, whatever. But um, yeah, nice. So that's, that's, that. that's that training done. Um, again, uh, just to reinforce, train lots of different methods. So we've trained this method, but there's also the, the striker for the shins as well. So this is a bundle of stuff. Yeah, from the 72 Secret Arts of Shaolin, bundle of stuff. Um, this is just bamboo and wadding and cloth. And yeah, obviously also we can use this to strike the shins. Uh, you might not want to do it on the same training session. Yeah. Yeah, but we can use this to also strike the shin. Yeah, I won't do too much striking because my missus might hear it. And using that log is just going to toughen up your shin so much. Yeah. That when you do the striking, 
it, you know, you just you just don't really feel it. So this is good as well because it brings blood to the area too. So you can use it like a bamboo brush as like a health thing to get the blood circulating. Excellent. Down a little more forms. Yeah, there we go. That was nice. All right, so oh, here we go. The log. And what time are we on? All right. Oh wait, my phone's here. Yeah. Yes. So there we go, guys. So hopefully you've, yeah, hopefully you've done that. Get some enjoyment out of the training. Um, use the stuff you find for your training. Um, you know, that's what we like to do. Use the stuff that we find. And that's, that's today's training. That's today's training done. Oh, well, a little bit of today's training. Um, but yeah, um, I'll, I'll leave this going for a second if there's any more comments or anything that I've, I've missed um, for the training. So yeah, in summary, log training that we did today. So check out this if you've just tuned in. Rolling this beast up and down our legs, up and down our shins. Yeah, it's a great bit of training kit, this actually. You can do freaking, get yourself a freaking giant piece of wood. You can do freaking carry it around, run with it, freaking do curls, train your shins, train your forearms. Um, whilst you're training your forearms, you can also hit the damn thing. Um, maybe if you want, you can wrap the middle in some cloth as well. It becomes like a makiwara then, uh, you know, so you can do more hitting on it, stuff like that. Use your jijo. Just fill your time, put as much into the one training session as you can, or just train your shins, it's up to you, yeah, so it's totally up to you, um, what you do. Um, trying to think if there's any other updates now at the end of the video on the channel. Um, I did say this year that I was going to do uh, Qigong and stuff, so yeah, we will, you know, hopefully at some time, and I'll get around to doing that with everyone. But yeah, guys, if you if you only just tuned in, so check out the beginning of this video when it reloads up. We've been using the log to train our shins. Um, yeah, and there's also the striker. Use as many methods as you can. But the main main thing is it's about the work. It's about the work that you put in. It's not really about the method that you use. Um, you could use one method alone, but if you put the work in, it's you know you'll get the results. But having said that, um, if you use multiple methods, you get multiple benefits. Oh no, oh dear, MMA bone conditioning. Hey Dan, I've come to sell Shigilit. Oh Dan, you've missed the whole video, bro. We've been, we've been rolling this beast up and down our shin. We missed it all. This is exactly the sort of thing you'd love, except your shins are sore at the moment. But we've been rolling this beast up and down our shin. Um, I'm gonna have to do it again now that you've turned up. You bastard. Oh, yeah, well, okay, we'll do a bit more, why not? Come on. Um, what was that, 48 minutes? Oh, I hate this Dan guy. He's come along. Now we have to do it again. We hate him. I'll put this up a bit. Da -da -da -da. There we go. So yeah, Dan, we've been doing our shins with this log. What's Dan say? Oh, that looks sick. Yeah, should we be doing our shins with the log? So we've been starting with the log phase one and you slowly blade of the shin, not the, not the side, absolute blade of the shin. And we've been rolling it down slowly, nice and slowly, just enjoying the pain. Yeah, I think Dan said if he didn't, if his shins weren't hurt, he would log them. Yeah, so just slowly getting used to the pressure that's phase one for everyone. Then you let this. Then you let it sit at the bottom there. You can also let it sit at the top. Yeah, but you have to hold it there. But you let it sit at the bottom. When you first do it, even rolling it like that will probably. If you let it roll down your shins, you'll you'll probably jump a couple of miles that way. But yeah, um, keep it there for a while. Read a book. Do whatever. You might even be able to do this with your sore shins because it's just constant pressure like this, relaxed. Yeah. Once you're getting used to that. You might throw a little strike in, but you're not engaging the muscles. Don't let the muscles put a defense mechanism. Because the moment you go like this, your muscles will go, Ugh! but don't let it do that. 
because we're trying to train the bones. Oh, that's evil. Yeah, run out there. But obviously, this is not probably what you do on your first go of it. You would just roll it down the shins for as long as time you need to. Sessions, weeks, months, whatever. Well, weeks, probably days, actually. Yeah, and then we sort of move on from that pressure and rolling and holding to eventually just rolling the damn thing up and down the shin. But don't skip ahead too much because you want that relaxed. You don't really want the muscle to engage too much. Um, oh, just hit it with that. Yeah, all right, so that's what we were doing. Rub the shins, get the circulation going in those shins. Let's see from these comments. So yeah, Dan, that's what we were doing, brother. Okay, what comments have we got here? Dan says that looks sick. He says, dude, if I didn't fug my shins, I'd be doing that awesome stuff. Dan says, how heavy is that? Oh, um, well, it's probably a standard size for it, but it's... It weighs about, I'd say it weighs at least 10 kilos. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe eight. Mm, oh, actually, hold on. Yeah, seven, eight kilos, maybe. Maybe 10's a bit generous. Yeah. So. <sighs> Here we roll again. Beast the Grim Executioner says, I'm currently rolling whilst commenting. Yes, exactly. There's no excuse. We can roll our shins with the log. We can roll it. We can be training our shins whilst we're playing a computer game. I mean, how much shin training can you do whilst you're just there playing a computer game or freaking phone or whatever? Just, just use the log. Uh, I just can't be responsible for your family or your missus or something thinking you're an absolute maniac. Yeah. And again, we're rolling, as you can see, we're rolling the blade of the shin, not the side. You can roll the side as well. And you can see how my shins are actually like bent because I'm just a bow leg. Don't know why. Yeah. But there we go. Make sure you get your dip to Joe on as well. If you get any sore spots. Yeah, oh, that's a sore spot. Excellent. All right. All right, so we've done the rolling. If, if you guys have, oh, what's that? If you guys have missed the video, just, uh, missed the video, just freaking go and watch this one when it uploads again. Um, do some, do some nice shin training. I don't think there's any other comments. Yeah, all right. So anyway, guys, like, thanks for tuning in. Get some training done. Um, yeah. We've done another, another all right training session, live training session, uh, a bit of shin focus. Yeah, so I'll keep you up to date with how my shins are, but they should be fine, because I was doing this the other day, and they were fine. All right, uh, MMA bone conditioning, thanks guys for commenting. Uh, Beast, the Grim Executioner, BZ, a couple of guys come on, so again, Thanks for supporting the channel, guys. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head off now. 50, 50 odd minutes of this. I'm gonna give it a few seconds because there's a delayed, uh, delayed feed just for that comment to reach everyone. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right, guys. Um, if there's any questions or whatever, send them through, comment, like, subscribe, um, um, yeah, we'll, we'll catch you guys around, yeah, there's bare, MMA bone conditioning saying, cool dude, and yeah, give it a try, um, but again, don't try and, um, don't try and go too fast, it, it, it's up to you, um, but just, it's not about doing the most craziest thing, yeah, it's actually more about the time that you put into the simple thing, yeah, so, if, if all you can take is just the pressure on your shin and rolling it slowly, that's all you need to do. And if you did that um, literally for weeks and weeks and months or whatever until you literally didn't even know it was there, then I guarantee you 
you probably get better results than if you were just vigorously rolling it up and down your shin because it's just too much of a um, for for or for your body at that time it's too much um, of a yeah it's too much of a, 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 a an attack it's too much pressure it's too much problem for your body so just just gradually work away at it but anyway guys that's enough crap from me um, and I'll, I'll catch you around all right everyone good training everyone and remember you can use it on your forearms as well by doing plank with it on there bang plank toughen those forearms the bones toughen the bones of the shin got some good fighting tools yeah excellent